All right, how's it going, YouTubers? Today I'm going to be painting a California landscape uh, eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. Let's see if we can let me move the camera a little bit. Okay, so bear with me. There we go. Hola. Here we go. So I'm going to be painting on an 11 by 14 inches canvas panel or canvas board. Uh, don't get caught up in, if you are if you're an artist or trying to be a, uh, an artist. Don't get caught up in any of that stuff. Just any canvas will do. Um, just please don't get caught up in, in the materials or the, what palette am I using or it's, it's not. It's not where the magic is. The magic's in the practice. <laughs> okay? Observing, of course, but in, in the practice. There's more magic in the practice than anywhere else. So here it is. I'm going to put some music in my videos to make it more, <laughs> more pleasant if you don't, if you didn't enjoy this long period of, of silence or if you're going to enjoy my beautiful voice.
See, when they say don't get caught up in, in the server change to the what, what paint I use, what, what tools I use, or, or tan beds, or it's because what really matters is that you develop the eye, the instinct. You already have it, you just need to practice to get it, you know, to, to develop it, to get it out. You need to give it strength. But you need to develop that, that muscle, that And knows what to do. And the reason, the why, way of developing that muscle is not by, it's my belief, right? Everyone else, everyone thinks different, but it's just me. It doesn't happen because you painted one or two paintings extremely, uh, you spend a lot of time or, or you paint them hyper-realistic or I, I don't really think that muscle happens that way. I think that uh, the muscle happens because you did volume first. You did you did a lot of practice, a lot of studying, or 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 um, you did a lot of something. But I don't I don't think it happens. You know, I used to think that, and and certainly the paintings look nice. I mean, there's that's what's confusing about painting. I think that that people. Uh, tend to judge it by by um, what does it what does it look like? Of course, right. So people are comparing it constantly. They're, they're, when you see a painting, the first judgment is does it look like like that? Uh, if you paint on a cow, for example, you know does it look like a cow? Or you know, or if it doesn't look like a cow, it's not a very good artist. But that's 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 a uh, only one aspect of painting, you know, um, how uh, uh, represented, you know, well re well represented it is, you know, uh, certainly one aspect of art, and a very important one if you're doing representational work, or an aspect of that. But art, that's 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 a. Uh, that's what's interesting about art. It's, it's confusing in that way. You know, you look at a painting and you're like, wait a minute, it doesn't really look like that. It, in art, the way that art has come out to be it's, uh, over the years, and this is not because of some uh, uh, fad or, you know, certainly there's those aspects also, but I, I believe the reality of art is that is that it teaches you to see things differently. That's really what a, an artist does. An artist pushes the envelope in whatever form of uh, artwork, painting, sculpting, photography, and it forces us, uh, either forces us or, or gently invite us, invites us to see things differently. So it can be very confusing when people see a, a, a piece of artwork and say that that's not art because you're thinking representational or because you're thinking um, um, abstract only or you know you're only looking at one aspect of it one one you know one one thing it's like looking at a person and saying uh, that person's not um, it's not beautiful because uh, their appearance you know whatever they are Appearance, maybe that we uh, all agree as a society to say, "Oh, that's beautiful." But in in, in art, it's uh, you know, it should be the same way in life. But in, in art, what is beautiful may not necessarily be what society uh, says or imposes or whatever. You know, the artist is trying to capture. Something is usually the essence of the of the subject or the object. It's usually the the essence that the artist is trying to capture. When Van Gogh painted Starry Night or Starry Night, Starry, <laughs> Starry Night, uh, he wasn't trying to capture uh, representational, you know, hyper realistic 
idea of it, even though he was, uh, I mean, we could tell, we could tell in his, in his uh, drawings and, and other paintings, definitely he is a, is very good, a very good draftsman. He could have easily said, oh, okay. And, and it's not that, it's, it's just confusing that way because people try to look at it from that angle only. But in art, an artist is trying to, it's trying to convey an emotion, a feeling, or a set of feelings. So when art, when, when Van Gogh was painting Starry Night, I mean, he was in the mental uh, institution that uh, he was looking at that from from his uh, from his window there, and and he was uh, he was trying to convey something, you know. He was it was probably a set of emotions and feelings that he was you know he was having mixed feelings and and you know and maybe there he found some peace. I don't. I don't think that he was trying to necessarily paint his his pain. I don't. I. I think he lived pain, pain, and and, and painted, painted the beauty that sometimes, sadly, um, but that's the way it is, comes to pain. Sort of like the uh, lotus flower that comes out of the mud. So it was Van Gogh creating something beautiful out of such uh, anxiety and pain and whatever he was feeling. And I believe that that is art, not because it's Van Gogh or whatever, but that like this this for me, of course, for me, right? Hopefully for you too. This is art. I'm not trying to just represent the trees. I'm not. There's, there's certain feelings and emotions associated with them, and that is the way I paint them, the way I do. Otherwise, uh, I would be looking for how to how to just mimic and only try to represent what I'm what I'm looking at. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. So those are uh, realist artists. Don't get upset with me, please. I'm just saying that for me, this is what it is. <laughs> and if you want to get upset, I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is. The eucalyptus trees. A bit of a reflection in the water. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.